Hello and good morning, Hillview. Before we get to the first episode of HVTV, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. It's Thursday, October 5th, 2017. I'm Jack, and for those of you who do not know, HVTV is a special student-run episode that showcases advanced video production and intro to video production content. On today's episode of HVTV, we'll be featuring only Hawks Quacks to start off the year. We'll be looking into what your favorite Snapchat filters are, what movies scared you the most as a kid, and be asking you some crazy Twitter trivia. Ready or not, HVTV starts now. Snapchat is known for its crazy face-altering filters. Troy and Owen went around campus seeing what you hawks had to say. I would want the bush afro because I've secretly always wanted an afro. <laughs> and I want the big mouth one because it looks sick on me. My favorite uh, Snapchat filter is the like uh, cheerleader one. Because it, it's really happy and it's like dancing. Uh, okay, so my favorite is the hot dog one where it like dances around because I put it on Santa Cruz Avenue and then it just disappeared, so yeah. <laughs> um, mine is the one where like you put it on your face and your <laughs> and your mouth just like woo and like gets really big and like like okay. I have to say, as JJ Jones, my favorite Snapchat filter would have to be this big smiley face. I just said that. <laughs> okay, so I did the flower filter because who doesn't like flowers? They're just beautiful. All right, so my favorite Snapchat filter would have to be the alien face because you look like an extraterrestrial being and that just seems really funny stretching out your face. And yeah, it just looks hilarious. Uh, definitely the green afro because I'm into nature and I like afros. My favorite Snapchat filter is the dog because I like to slurp. Thanks, Troy and Owen, for that hawk squawk. On another note, did a certain movie when you were a kid make you scream? Jackson and Mask acts around to see what you were scared of. Should I say? Okay, okay, we can start, we can start. Okay. The scariest part in the kids' movie that I've seen is in Toy Story when they're going down like the garbage thing. My mom showed me The Exorcist when I was four years old. Okay, so when I was in like first grade, we watched the Berenstein Bears in class, and I was terrified of this character, Big Paw, who's this bear who's like 10 times larger than all the other bears. And I just thought he was the most terrifying thing I had ever seen. Uh, Coraline. A Halloween movie? <laughs> the one the Grinch. The Finding Nemo, because you know, the shark comes and it oh, eats that. all the That's children. Awesome. <laughs> when Jane's in it. <laughs> Okay, in the emoji movie, when they show the angry emoji, it's a really moving scene because it shows the true evil nature behind emojis and how they can manipulate our lives in such powerful ways as the plot of the emoji movie shows. Okay, <laughs> well the scariest kid movie is definitely Monster Inc. because they come into your room and they're like, I'm watching you! Wake up. No, 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 I'll wake up then. <laughs> when when Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell throws her dust. dust. <laughs> 
Wow. Um, the most scary part of a movie would be when an evil frog turns into a witch. In the Barbie movie. <laughs> <laughs> Made by Max Gerger and Jackson Gong. The scariest movie scene I ever watched was when I watched this movie that you're filming right now. Thanks, Jackson and Max. Teachers now know what movies not to play. What Twitter account do you think has the most followers? Or can you tell that someone is not Mr. Lyra? Corinne and Dylan went around Hillview asking you some crazy Twitter trivia. Who do you think has the most Twitter followers? So we think that the person with the most followers on Twitter, Logan Paul. That's our final answer. Kim Kardashian. Uh, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Ariana Grande. Katy Perry. Grumpy Cat. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. I think Jake Paul has the most Twitter followers. Okay. Taylor Swift. Jane. I'm going to have to go with Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Lady Gaga. You win. Lady Gaga. Donald Trump, because, yeah, he's he's building a wall, so, yeah. Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Donald Trump. Real Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Obama. Who is this? I'm feeling Mr. Lyra. <laughs> James, like, Frid Fridman? It looks like Mr. Lyra. Steven. You? <laughs> How many users does Twitter have? 200 million. 300? No one Wait, I know the actual answer. What is it? 500,000. No! <laughs> oh my God. 10 hundred million. I'm not sure if that's a number. Around like a hundred million? Billion. A billion. A gajillion. <laughs> 500 million. <laughs> Thanks, Corinne and Dylan, for answering some of our burning questions. Well, that's all for today's episode of HVTV. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Teachers, please listen for special announcements on the PA.